Welcome to the show. Baseball and softball seasons are wrapping up with just one conference series left for both teams and postseason right ahead. Today we have junior Marky Laferni with the softball team here to talk about the 2013 Trover season. This is in the saddle. Welcome to the show. Today we have junior Marky Laferni with a softball team here to talk about the 2013 season. Welcome to the show. Hi, thank you for having me. So 22 wins at time of filming. Mm -hmm. um, not, not a bad season. There's been a lot of adjustments going on, so talk mm -hmm. about it. Um, you know, we played a lot of our conference games toward the beginning, and a lot of people d didn't have to do that. And that was when everybody was coming out really strong. They had all their players healthy, and that's when we were struggling. We were trying to find people were out of place. You know, we had a couple decide not to come back. We had some injuries, and that just kind of hurt us. While we're starting to make adjustments, they're all ready to go, so mm -hmm. that kind of hurt us. Well, we definitely have a small team mm -hmm. at this point of, of people who are not injured and are playable. Yeah. Um, so that, that definitely hurts. You guys have had a lot of success in um, non-conference, I think, like 19 mm -hmm. and 6 in non-conference, right. which just goes to show how um, tough the Sooner Athletic Conference is. Mm -hmm. We've got uh, three teams in the top 15, and we play four games against each of them. So that really, yeah. you know, hurt us. And that was one of the things that, like, you know, we didn't have to deal with last year. We only had two pitchers, so playing the same team four times, they're going to catch on to what we throw, our patterns, and all that kind of stuff. So that was that was really tough, trying to play four teams back to back to back. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't, I feel like last year it was divided up, so you'd play yeah. a team and then the next month you'd play them again. But this was like, right. in a week you played the mm -hmm. same team four Every, times. Yeah, that's how it was with everybody, except Oklahoma City. Like last year we started out with uh, like Oklahoma Christian and then we ended with them. And like mm -hmm. that's it was spread out evenly, but I guess since... Every dropped out of the conference, we just had to play it that way. Mm -hmm. And I, I think that added level of difficulty. Yeah, especially the only having two pitchers and the limited amount of players that we have. And, you know, everybody else, they probably have like four or six pitchers. Mm -hmm. So they can throw somebody different every single game. So. Well, and you're an outfielder, but with that limited um, number of players, you everyone has kind of been out of position mm -hmm. for a couple games. So what else have you had to to play? Um, I've had to play second a couple games. Um, it was difficult. I mean, I've played there. I'm used to it, but obviously the way I played back then isn't the way that she has things set up, so everything was kind of different, and it's, the ball comes at you a lot faster. You know. Than it does in high school. Yeah, it's weird, but I mean, I like being an outfield. I feel more, feel more comfortable out there. And you said you also had moved over to um, center field, which mm -hmm. is a little different than your right field. Yeah, I mean, Everybody looking in, you think all the outfield positions are the same, but they're really not. And you just, in the outfield, you just kind of have your comfort zone at one place most of the time. And when I moved to center, it was hard to judge where to stand. I was constantly looking over at Katie like, where do I stand? What do I do? And she was like, just, you're okay. <laughs> so, you're doing great. Yeah, no you're worries. fine. Just don't worry about it. <laughs> what are some of the goals for the season as, as you guys finish with one more conference series mm -hmm. and go into the postseason? You know, we definitely look forward to the conference tournament because we know that everybody in our conference is beatable. I mean, we beat the Oklahoma City ranked number three in the nation. Mm -hmm. I mean, we know we can beat anybody on a good day. And I think it'll be better now that we haven't played any of those teams in a while and that we're going to go in the conference tournament. I feel like we're going to be fresh and they're not because now we're getting all our flaws worked mm -hmm. out and we're finally stringing hits together and we're getting things done. So I think going in to that will have an advantage. You're a junior at USAO. Mm -hmm. How did you find your way here? You didn't have to travel from very far. <laughs> yeah. Um, I came here because when Jen was here, she found me at Tuttle, obviously, because we're both Tuttle kids. And it seemed like I had a couple offers from other places, but 
this seemed like the best place for me because like my mom's sick and I have baby nieces and I have a lot of family so that worked out I could just drive home one night and come back it's like 20 minutes so I really liked that and right now you uh, baseball and softball have this unique thing that none of our other sports have but school is over now already <laughs> yeah. graduation was on Friday and um, now you you can just focus on softball for the next couple of weeks and mm -hmm. you you don't have any school or any of those other other things to worry about and divide your time yeah it's really nice but it's kind of weird sometimes because you're like from January to like a week ago we have a set schedule of what we do every single day mm -hmm. and now you wake up and you're like oh well, I can sleep in but I don't really know what to do what do I do till four o'clock practice because some people do have independent study so they have to like go to class from 10 to 12 or whatever so, that's so your practices are so late in the yeah afternoon. they're late in the afternoon just because make sure everybody can get there and all that kind of stuff you are a junior and you were kind of deciding whether you were going to come back for another mm -hmm. year um, and you made that decision what kind of weighed into that decision to, to return to usao next year um a little bit was i don't want to regret it later in life but now that i have the opportunity i'd rather say you know i came back and I'm going to have an easy ride. I mean, it's going to be, I'm going to go ahead and graduate and walk in the fall. And then that way I only have to carry six hours during season. So I go to two classes, go to practice. I mean, it'll be, I don't have to stress about tests. I don't have to worry about anything. Mm -hmm. And I thought, you know, that's going to be, that'll make my senior year better, I think. Mm -hmm. So I'd rather have it like that and actually have like a senior day and, you know, get all that fun stuff. And you don't have to look back and wonder what if you had that, mm -hmm. you got to play your last year of eligibility. Yeah. So. And I don't want to look back like next year or whatever, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. The next year and be like, man, you know, they're doing really good. I could be playing. I could be having fun. And, you know, there's a group of us that came in as freshmen. And I think that's very unusual to have that many still lot. throughout the four years. And there will be five of us. So. It'll be fun to, yeah. to graduate and have senior day with all mm -hmm. of them. Yeah. Well, thank you for being on the show. We wish you luck at the end of the season and thank for you. a conference tournament. Thank you. Now it's time for Fan of the Week. Each week we pick our Fan of the Week who wins an awesome t-shirt and is recognized on our show and on our Facebook page. Last week's Fan of the Week was Linda McCoy. Again, congratulations to you. And this week's Fan of the Week, Jim Jackson. Congratulations. And I buy the bar, double round the crown, and everybody's getting down in this town. Ain't never gonna be the same. Well, that's our show. Make sure to tune in next week with more In the Saddle, Drover Sports. I make a lot of noise, cause the girls, they are so pretty.